Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing the Lego Architecture New York City. Now, this set is quite close to me. It's not going in Jack Special, clearly, but uh, this uh, is quite close to me. Uh, and I really do like it because of this. Now, if you see my Eiffel Tower one, you know that I love architecture. Uh, you know, instruction booklets. It's by far the best one you can get. Okay. Uh, but this mainly is because I have learned so much from this book. Now, I beforehand didn't know too much about New York City. Okay, I've never been in real life. I'd really like to. I've been to Florida, but I've never been to New York, and it's a great place I'd want to go. So, yeah, I've learnt so much, such as the One World Trade Centre, okay, uh, try and find out which one's which when I show you the set. But One World Trade Centre, which is the replacement for the Twin Towers after the 11th of, uh, 11th of September, uh, no, 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 I've got it all wrong, I've no. 11th of October, anyway, the 9-11 attacks. And, yeah, and they instead rebuilt it with the One World Trade Center, which is this big guy on the right. Then there's also the Statue of Liberty, which is actual architecture set I found out, which is quite cool, I might get it, uh, like a scaled one. Uh, the Flatiron Building, which I never knew about, never knew it was a building. I read up on this in the photo, in this sort of thing and it's quite cool uh, the Chrysler building which is apparently a trademark does that mean it's copyrighted uh, it must have been built within the last 50 years or something uh, but yeah Chrysler building uh, and it's that is really that is quite a famous building the Empire State building is probably one of the most famous buildings in the world uh, and it is it was standing as one of the tallest uh, buildings in the world yeah so it says here on the left it's 1454 feet tall which is equivalent to 443 meters this tall skyscraper was the tallest building when it was completed in April 1931 so that's been standing for that long uh, and yeah, and then throughout again, it has all the information cards, which it currently doesn't because we're currently just looking through the base. But when you get onto the actual sets, it gives you information about what you're building. So the Statue of Liberty, for instance, we're building now, and it's got a little card in the top right about the Statue of Liberty, and it does throughout it. And so yeah, I really do like architecture booklets. But yeah, uh, unfortunately, as I bring this closer, you're not going to be able to see a couple of the buildings because I just want to go in depth with a lot of them. So again, here you will get the uh, the architecture plaque, which basically tells you, you know, what set you've got. And this is the New York City. There's no translations nowhere else because it's a it's in America who speak British. Now, if you're wondering, uh, this set is to scale to each other, okay? So that's kind of, if you're wondering why the, so for instance, the Statue of Liberty is so small, uh, is because that's what it's like compared to the rest of them. Yeah. But yeah, here, the, this little guy, uh, he has the water around him, made out of these, like, see-through bricks. The island, which is the grass there, and then here it starts to be constructed up into this little green guy at the top, which also known as the you know the person that Statue of Liberty. I'm not quite sure who she is, if she is, I mean, or he, or I t I'm not American. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, and then here is the Empire State Building, quite stand standing there, pretty tall and proud. And it's a really nice uh, building. So yeah, that's what that is. And here's the Chrysler building. And that's what they are to each other's scale. And that says the Statue of Liberty compared to them. 
Here's the flat iron building. Uh, yeah, so that's quite small, honestly, but it's still bigger than the Statue of Liberty. And then here. The One World Trade Center. <laughs> which is quite cool. But the thing is, all of these were just, you know, placed onto the base, okay? Because, you know, no need, really, of anything else. This, however, because of its enormous sizing, right, Jack will have to do his standard thing, where he grabs his ruler and goes, six inches, literally just under uh, 14 inches, I believe, that's it. No, just under 11 inches. That's quite mad, honestly. Oh, I've said... Uh, so yeah, that is just under 11 inches, okay, that one in itself, and that means that this is safe to grab it by when you're carrying it around, because it has clips, and it's actually clipped in, uh, so that's what's really cool, because if it was placed in the Lego base, such as the Empire State here, look, See, that's got standard brick and just sticks on. But yeah. Uh, oh, I've just killed the Statue of Liberty. There we go. But yeah. Uh, this set goes into quite a bit of detail. Well, not too much detail, but it, especially the scale is really amazing because you can see what each one of these are. And again, that instruction booklet is really close to me because I've learned so much about New York City. Uh, I learned about the Flat Iron Building, which I never knew was a thing. Uh, the One World Trade Center, first learnt about that, because uh, I always thought, I'd obviously heard of 9-11 and all that, and yeah, but I never really knew what had happened after it, and obviously this had happened, the One World Trade Center, so yeah, that's quite cool. The uh, Empire State Building, uh, honestly it does look like that, honestly, like, let me see if I can get a picture in the instruction booklet. Like, you might be thinking, that's just made out of a ton of grill, isn't that a load of rubbish? But... I just get a picture of it. Look. Damn. No other way can you. Whoa! Uh, there's no other way of representing that many flaming windows. And plus, uh, yes, they have. Oh, oh no! Oh, flipping heck! Oh, flipping heck! Uh, but yeah, that there is a dent in the middle of the Prideful Building, and they have represented that as well. So that is quite they're cool, honestly. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like to show your support on the channel. And uh, I'll catch you in another one. Bye.